Welcome back. We're here to look ahead to Sunday's Merseyside derby in the Premier League between Everton and Liverpool. Barnes will start with the visitors. They ended their four-match wait for a league win with a victory over Aston Villa. Yeah, good to get back to winning ways for them. It was four league games without a victory, I think it was, before then some disappointing results in that period. You'd say 3-2 at home to a team like Aston Villa who struggled so much at the start of the season. It's not the best result on paper. Obviously, three points is, is the, main, the main thing, but to be held that close to concede two goals against Aston Villa is a disappointing thing and defensively they could have done better for both goals second goal Rudy Kested it was just a really good header for him but you know they'd, they'd probably want to defend their area better than that first goal they certainly could have defended better so there were it wasn't by no means perfect in that match but getting back to winning ways against the team who have been a bit of a bogey team for them at Anfield recently it's a good result for them and obviously the big positive getting Sturridge back back to scoring form his first goal was spectacular could have had a hat-trick in the end but for a really good save from Brad Guzan as well so getting him back was a, is a really big positive getting the three points is another positive and hopefully this is a building block for, that they can start to kick-start their season from because it's been disappointing run of results up until that point It's a really good finish from Milner as well for the first mm. one that's his first league goal for the club as well so good for him and you know you look at the table now they're back into the top half Liverpool and only five points off the top when you look at the table so st things are still very close up there I know United have gone clear now but with City losing their last two you know the, the league tables are much more bunched up in that top half now and certainly they I think they really really need a good run of form Liverpool but the fixtures they don't get much easier than uh, the, the run coming up Everton away here Everton have looked pretty good recently then you've got Spurs Southampton Chelsea Palace and Man City in the next five after the international break so things do get really tough for them and they'll hope that potentially after the international break that Benteke might be back and then he'll have the option of Benteke and Sturridge and maybe for me, I'm not sure how much longer he's out for but you know there's there certainly seems to they're going to have more options going forward and if people like Milner can chip in with goals because you know Henderson's going to be out for another couple of months or so so they need goals from midfield as well because unless Sturridge can really sort of discover his best form from about you know two seasons ago they, they might be struggling for goals a little bit. Yeah it's a key couple of weeks for Brendan Rodgers I think in charge of Liverpool it's a key weekend this if a bad defeat here would really crank up the pressure on him because despite that Aston Villa victory as I say it wasn't the most convincing clear win against the team down there towards the bottom of the table before that they needed penalties to overcome Carlisle in the League Cup as well and before that you've got the, the poor league form so he does need a good win. This could, this one of these matches can go either way for a manager if they are well beaten by Everton. If, you, if you're talking a three 0 Everton win, then the pressure is really going to be on Brendan Rodgers. But if they can get a good victory, and they'll be pretty optimistic of doing that with Sturridge. He likes playing against Everton. Scored a few goals against them um, over the past couple of seasons. If they can get a good win, then that would lift a lot of the pressure on, and that will give them so much confidence. And you feel they need a, a good result here going into that tough run of fixtures. You expect if they can get one, then they'll go for, into that full of confidence. They can start climbing the table again. Yeah, he talks about Kested, you know, he had quite a lot of joy against that Liverpool defence and another striker who might be licking his lips facing Liverpool is Romelu Lukaku who on Monday night in Everton's pretty amazing come from behind victory, got two goals and an assist in that game, one of his best games of the season, you know, played really well there and Everton, you know, fell 2-0 behind at West Brom and, you know, when West Brom are there at home 2-0 up, you're thinking it's game over but Everton hit back almost instantly, I think it was 27 seconds after West Brom's second that uh, Lukaku got the goal so they hit back and then, you know, to come, come back the way they did, uh, Delefe was really impressive down the right. It was his cross. Well, he set up both of Lukaku's goals, actually, with two really good crosses. And to come back like that and win 3-2 on the road, and it's just one defeat all season for Everton now. And they played pretty well in that one against City as well. So things are looking good for them. Everton fifth in the table. And the way the fixtures they've had, it's a really impressive start. Yeah, and they won that West Brom game with a pretty makeshift defence. Obviously, mm -hmm. they conceded two goals, so it wasn't the perfect defensive performance. But once they get Coleman back, Stones back, should both be back for this weekend because they were close to playing on Monday by all accounts. Stones in particular, has been, he's had such a good start to the season. We'll get a good test against Sturridge, but he's overcome every test so far um, this season. Stones, even when there's that whole transfer saga going on with Chelsea. So they'll be glad to have him back and they need them back and need a good defence because they've got a tough run of fixtures coming up with Liverpool, Manchester United after this at home and then Arsenal away after that one as well. So three games against some big teams coming up. But they've performed quite well against the big teams so far. You mentioned the Man City one. two nil. They lost 2-0 in that one, but they played fairly well. It's, City probably deserved the win, but Everton, they certainly didn't disgrace themselves in that match. And then, of course, they beat Chelsea 3-1 in a really good performance. Naismith coming off the bench to get that perfect hat-trick. So they'll be pretty confident coming up against the big boys because they've made a confident start to the season. Yeah, and they'll be desperate for a win you know, against Liverpool. They've not won in nine games against their rivals, although five of the last six have been draws. They've been pretty tight in recent times. What's your score prediction? Yeah, I don't think I can back against Liverpool. Um, I'd love to predict a win, but 
I think it's going to be a tie. It really could go either way. I think it depends which Liverpool turns up. If if Sturridge is fit and firing fully, then he could fire them to victory. But I think it's going to go for a two-all draw. Two-all draw. I actually, I'm going to pick Everton. I think, like you said, Liverpool, it was a win against Aston Villa last time, but not all that convincing. And they will have had Europa League in midweek as well. So Everton will be a bit fresher than them. So I think I'm going to pick Everton to win 3-1. So got one draw and an Everton win. Thanks for joining us.